Hi, I'm Kristen Netopak and welcome to Fight Class, where we recreate fight scenes from some of your favorite films, TV shows, and cult classics. Now today's scene that we're going to be recreating is from a really hot show on TV right now called Game of Thrones. I'm pretty sure some of you have heard of it. The fight sequence we're recreating is from Episode 6, Crown of Gold, choreographed by stunt coordinator and swordmaster Buster Reeves. This is the scene where Bronn takes on Ser Vardis in Tyrion's trial by combat. But before we do that, we need to meet the Swordmasters who are going to be performing this scene. And of course, as always, showing me some very cool moves. Jan Bryant and Dan Speaker were the movie Swordmasters on the films Hidalgo, Army of Darkness, Hot Shots, Part Du, Master and Commander, and Hook. They were here with Dan and Jan, our sword masters. And as always, we have so many questions about the scene and how it's set up and how it was choreographed because everybody wants to know that stuff, right? Yeah. So this takes place during episode six, Crown of Gold, where Tyrion asks for a trial by combat. Now in trial by combat, it seems to me that that's something that is a very historical term. I mean, is that accurate? Is that something that actually happened back in the day? In our world, trial by combat really did exist. People back in the Middle Ages could say, um, if they were accused of a crime, they could say, I'm not guilty. I want trial by combat. I will fight to prove my innocence. If you were uh, claiming trial by combat, but you were unable to fight, as Tyrion is you know, small, you could then ask a champion to fight for you. And you had to pay him. But you could ask somebody, and basically they were your proxy, sort of like your lawyer in yes. court, going in, and they would fight for you. And if they won, you were innocent. If they lost, they, you... You were dead. Yeah. So Sir Bardis, being the honorable man that he is, has this kick-ass armor in this right. scene. Yeah. And so we actually got to borrow some armor for this, right. this fight, which I'm really excited about. So Dan, tell us a little bit about what we're using today. Sir Vardis had armor that was made up uh, from pieces that, that are actually historical to our world. And his helmet was very much like this, which is a, a model of a close helmet from around about the 1500s. Um, and the visor was the interesting thing. A visor and a close helmet is meant to, to latch down and, and protect your, your face. His actually went down below so you could see his eyes. And it was just sort of an interesting fantasy helmet that he created out of something actually historical. Yeah, I'm going to use this, which is a, a Norman half helmet. Um, it's just much easier to, uh, to breathe in. You can actually stick that down on your head. When you wear your armor, you have to have padding for your head, and they have these really cool arming caps, and I think I look really good in these. So you can I, almost wear that out to a bar. Now, what about Sir Vardis? He, he's this honorable queen's man, and he's very chivalrous. He's by the book. Totally by the book. He figures that they're going to they're gonna get together shield to shield. They're going to trade heavy downright blows until one of them falls over. One of the things that I love about fight choreography is that often it reflects the type of character that's fighting in the scene. So we have Bronn and we have Sir Bardis, two very different types of people. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about Bronn's character because he, he absolutely refused the shield. Well, he didn't take the shield because he's a very unconventional fighter. It's part of his character. I love this character. I think he's really fun to watch everything, his acting his fighting, everything is great. If he had a shield, it would weigh him down. <laughs> this is heavy. Uh -huh. I don't need to use this, do I? All right, we've talked about the armor, we've talked about the scene, and now I want to take a peek at the set. So this is our set. It's the moon door. Obviously, I'm not flying into it because we can't have that happen. Now, these guys made this set out of Cavaletti blocks for horse jumping and some cedar fiber bags. What does that mean? Yes, of course, they're just this cool. They own horses. And this is Catfish. All right, let's get back to work. I gotta learn some moves. We split this into three parts so that it's uh, easier for these guys to teach me in sections. The first part is where you get out of the way, so you're evading. <laughs> Bron does a lot of getting out of the way. Bron does a lot of <laughs> evading of the attacks. Now you know oh. that this character, even though we don't have the full armored set here, right. he's got armor all in here and all over here. Where he does not have armor is under here. Uh -huh. And that's where you're going to get him. There's an important moment here. He has to cue you. As soon as he pulls up his sword, then you know he's going to swing next, so you've got to get, you, get the heck out of the way. It looks like he's coming at my head, and then yeah. I'm ducking, but what, what I'm really doing is I'm yeah. ducking, which gives him permission yeah. to swing. Got okay? it. So you have to get out of the way fast so he doesn't have to stand there for a long period of time. All these intricacies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was it. Armor is my friend. So this is section two, and there's a lot of evading going on. Show me how to evade. Okay, so when, when he cues me, I'm gonna get 
out of the way. I see where it's coming. I'm going to get out of the way. And then I'm just going to do a backwards evasion there. We want to look good. And whoosh. And whoosh. Breathe. And whoosh. Then I know he's on that side, so I'm going to take it in what we call a hanging carry nine. Cut to his chest and take out his hamstring. And that is uh, commonly known as the coup de jarnac. Who does our neck? What does that mean? Well, that goes back into the 1500s in uh, one of the first judicial duels where Jarnak uh, beat his opponent by getting him back uh, behind the leg where his armor didn't cover him and, and killed him. And, and start. Good. This is section three, the final section, where you take him down, right? Or you That's basically correct. push him out the moon door. You start with an evasion. Another evasion. Something different for yeah. Braun, right? <laughs> Be out of the way. Down, he trips, boom, boom, boom. He goes down. He's gonna try and get you here. And again, you grab his arm and go, uh-uh. Boom. You open him up. You ask if for his life. This is when Bron has that great face, like, seriously? You, seriously? You really want me to do this? I mean, he's already down. He's already <laughs> come been on, injured come twice. On. And you know? And I won. So, so when she says, yeah, go ahead. By the look, if you notice. Mm -hmm for theatrical purposes so we because we don't want to kill Dan for real. We'll try not to kill right. you. <laughs> You're gonna put it on that trapezius muscle here. Just the tip on the trapezius muscle. And then you're gonna pretend to shove it down into his body and again that little reversal of tension in your in your arm is what's gonna make it sell. Then you pull it out and then he's gonna lose that sword into the shield and you're gonna throw him down into the moon door. See ya moon door. All right, let's shoot this thing. Well, that was fun. Well, now it's time to see how the real Swordmasters do it. The question is, are you guys ready? that, my friends, was bad ass. Well, if you guys, by the way, aren't watching Game of Thrones, you must, because it's one of the best shows on TV right now. You're and nuts if you're not watching. Then you're nuts. And speaking of armor, thanks to Brian Burrow for letting us borrow it, because it was brilliant, and I think it really helped tell the story of yes. the scene. Yes. It was perfect for our scene. By the way, Brian's a special effects guru, and you can find more out about him on brianburrow.com. And these guys are always open to training new recruits, right? That's right. Always. Training Absolutely. new recruits. So you can Absolutely. find more yeah. information about that on theatricalcombat.com or on Twitter, at Fight Class. And as always, you can find me on Twitter, at Netopack. Now, next episode, these guys actually were the fight choreographers for a very cool movie called Hook. I know you guys remember that. So we're going to be recreating a special scene for their 20th anniversary. <laughs> hook, and, hook, and we're going to do that the entire hook. time. So stay tuned, you guys. I'm Kristen Netopack. Thanks for watching Fight Class. Bye.